and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Hello, hi, I'm Katie and welcome back if you're a subscriber. You are the best. If you are new here, then please consider hitting that subscribe for all those good vibes. Join our Good Vibe Tribe um, as I upload one or two videos a week. Um, always one, but definitely sometimes two. Um, and today's video is going to be a autumn winter essentials, sort of like a capsule wardrobe. Um, but I'm also going to show you loads of ways to style certain pieces. So it's definitely going to be a video you can come back to, refer back to, style things different ways. And I'm hoping that you've already got pieces similar in your wardrobe. For example, like a blazer um, that you can style in these different ways so you get the most out of this video. So if you're excited for today's video, hit that thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. Also, just for reference, I'm a size UK 12 and I'm 5 foot 9. You see, guys always seem to ask. It's like my most asked question and I do say it at the start of every video. So make sure you're watching it all the way through not to miss out anything. So I feel like for this time of year, the first thing you need in your wardrobe is a chunky knit jumper. Very simple, very easy. I'm sure all of you have one already. Um, and if you don't, I do have some here to share with you. So first of all, I think maybe two colors is ideal for like a capsule wardrobe. Um, ideally, pick colors you like wearing, but for me, I like to keep things quite simple, and that way you can sort of like dress them with more outfits. So for me, like a black and then either a white or a neutral nude sort of color um, would be great. If there's a color you like, um, definitely go for something you really like because at the end of the day, it's your wardrobe. So for me, I've just picked up this plain black chunky knit roll neck, completely soft, cozy, really, really just like easy to wear, um, lovely piece. Um, if you were interested in this one, I got this in a size medium and it's really, really lovely. It's a nice length, also looks nice tucked into things, as you'll see in the cutaway, I've styled it. Um, so this is, I'm, I'm gonna talk about how you can style these. So for me, a chunky knit jumper is just like the easiest thing to style. It's the comfiest thing to just pop on when you wanna be cozy. So you can style this either with skinny jeans and boots, skinny jeans and trainers. You can put a blazer on top, you can put a coat on top, you can style it with a skirt tucked into like a midi skirt um, with some little ankle boots, with some trainers. You can also style it with like a short skirt if that's your thing, maybe some over the knee boots. And already, look how many, like that's how many outfits you can have out of just this one piece already. So also just gonna be super comfy for wearing around the house, really easy to just chuck on with your joggers when you're comfy and you just wanna be cozy. My favorite thing is comfy, cozy and chic um, and just, just easy to wear basically. So a really lovely first piece. And the other um, roll neck jumper I have to share with you guys is this like soft um, one. It, this isn't actually a roll neck, this is just like a high neck, but it's just an actually really nice height on the neck of this one. I really like this. It's like a lovely sand colour. I got this one in a size small. I think maybe it sold out of the medium. I'm not really sure why I went for small, but it's a really nice fit again and again can be tucked up and in. And exactly the same with this one. You can style this all those ways I just explained. Another way to wear these sorts of ones, I think I think you can do it with a chunky roll neck, but I think it looks a little bit nicer with like this more lower neck line. Is you can pop it over like a maxi dress or a midi dress, and then you've kind of got like two outfits out of one. So if you get hot, you can take it off and you've got this really nice dress underneath, or otherwise, obviously, you can wear it just like, like all the other ways that I just described. Looks lovely with like mom jeans and trainers, mom jeans and boots, um, skinny jeans. It's just obviously like the list is endless, and this is just a like, lovely sand color. Really easy, nice staple piece. So today, I obviously have got everything from HM, and I feel like HM is one of those places it's great for staples. Um, the quality is generally really good from H&M. They also have got a conscious range now, which is really nice, uh, where they're using recycled materials um, and obviously are a lot better for the environment, the more environmentally friendly. I have also filmed a mango haul, which I think mango is also great for essentials, like key pieces for your wardrobe. This chunky knit is actually a roll knit net roll neck knit dress um, and this is my fave piece probably from the last manga haul um, I had to keep it because it was just like such a staple and I was like I know I'm just gonna get so much wear out of it and it's the first day and I'm already wearing it so yeah manga is also a really nice place for like really good key essentials for like building a capsule wardrobe or for you know just key essential pieces that you'll be able to wear year after year 
I did tend to be someone who used to shop in Primark quite a lot and I do still love Primark and I always probably will shop there but for pieces like a knit dress that you're going to have year after year they're very classic they're never going to go out of style it's actually better to invest a little bit more and keep them year after year and I say invest this was 35.99 so it's not exactly a lot of money um for me personally I don't think that's too expensive um as the Primark ones are like about 20 pound now anyway so I'd rather spend a little bit more and then keep it for a few years and keep the quality nice as well. Um, so for our next key essential piece for your wardrobe, we're gonna go actually onto, while we're talking about them, chunky knitted dresses. So this is a really oversized, really gorgeous, like beigey stone color. I got this in a medium. I love the sleeves on this one. I think they are a dream. This is just so cozy and comfy and then it's got little splits up the side. And the way for me I'd style this is a varied, option of ways so I'm going to go through them again because I just think it's the easiest thing to do um so the first option I think is a nice leather jacket just either on top of the shoulders if it's too chunky or if you can get it on and it still looks okay go like that little pair of biker boots the second way I think is a nice pair of trainers like really chilled nice autumn day chuck a little puffer coat on something like that when you're popping out the third way I think you can wear these a bit more classy, a bit more dressed up, is with some like knee high boots. I wouldn't go over the knee with this length dress. Um, if it was a little bit shorter maybe you could go an over the knee boot, but I think for this length either like an ankle boot or a knee high boot would be really, really gorgeous with this. And then just like a trench coat or like a long line coat over the top um, would look really, really just perfect and gorgeous with that one. I also have a grey one to show you. So this one is not the same, is it? Oh, this is exactly the same, I didn't realise. It's exactly the same in the grey. Um, and this is a gorgeous grey. Like, you probably won't see me talk about grey too much, but actually, if you'll notice, I'm just going to show you the rail. They're all very neutral colours, which means they all blend together really well. And it means you can mix and match so much. Like, I literally can't even tell you. I've got three pairs of boots here and I could have worn probably every pair of boots with every outfit bar one but yeah that's how versatile um like these key pieces are and keeping things neutral makes them more versatile within your wardrobe so this grey like I mentioned I wouldn't normally wear a lot of grey but I noticed grey is really easy to start with black this would look really cute with just a pair of trainers because I feel like grey is a little bit more casual than cream I don't know why I just always have felt that um, but yeah, it's really, really cozy and chunky knit. This one is a medium as well. And again, it is very oversized. So if you want it to be a little bit more fitting, perhaps think about sizing down on that one. The last chunky knit I'm going to talk to you about is this one. And this one was huge. This was a lot bigger. This is a medium, but I think I definitely could have gone down to a small or even an extra small. Like I can't even get it all in shot. It's so big, but it's so unbelievably cutchy and cozy and soft. This is gorgeous. This is like, this is the one you'd just be reaching for. You'd be like, I just want to wear that one because it's such a cup it's like it's like wrapping a duvet around you that's how cozy it is just or like a nice cozy knit blanket you know when you're on the sofa all cozy with your cup of tea that's what this is like so yeah absolutely love this one like i said it is a medium but i would definitely size down and for me the style i was thinking of my head in this one was to wear it with the gray over the knee boots um or knee high boots but it was a little bit too long it's quite hard to tell sometimes with the lengths online so yeah for me it wasn't quite like what i had in my head but i have styled it with the boots and i think you could also wear it with trainers it would look really great as well really really easy again or you could wear like i said earlier biker boots a little leather jacket very very easy too so this idea i had behind it was to pop this blazer over it but the blazer was too small um in comparison with the chunky knit of that um, but the next thing I would say you need in your capsule wardrobe is a blazer. This one is a really nice alternative if you're not someone who wants to get a black blazer. Because sometimes they can be a little bit boring, but I do think they're really classic. And I do think it's probably my most worn blazer is that one or I've got a camel one. Um, but this is, is going to be a new addition. This is really, really gorgeous. And what I like about this is it's got grey and nude in. So it's going to go with both grey and obviously neutral colours. As you can see, it goes really nice with this. Then it also goes really nice with the grey and with this grey. So, um, and it would also look really nice with black as well. So it's a really, really nice classy blazer. I think H&M is really good for good priced blazers. Um, obviously places like Zara as well do do really lovely blazers and sometimes they can be quite reasonably priced. They say up to about £50 mark, which I think this is around that. 
Um, I'm not going to go through all the prices just because we have a lot to get through. Um, but yeah, all the all the links will be down below in the description box and um, all the prices will be, obviously, when you click on the link and open it, you'll see all the prices too. Um, so this has got really cute little buttons on and obviously blazers are probably one of the most versatile pieces you can ever have in your wardrobe, I think, as well. The reason I think blazers are so, so versatile is because you can get different styles of blazers for one. So like, say you could have one fitted blazer and one oversized blazer, so you could get two different colours that you liked. Um, maybe one like this. I really love the new like dog tooth that's come out at the minute. It's like a really chunky, thick dog tooth um, print. I just really love that and I really, really want a blazer or a coat um, in that style. I think it's going to look great on top of like an all black outfit. But the reason I love blazers is because you can just dress up any look with a blazer, anything. Like you could be wearing anything and a blazer just changes it completely. So you can wear dresses underneath. You can wear dresses and trainers. You can wear dresses and heels for a night out. You can wear dresses and trainers for the day. You could wear um, a dress and some boots for a casual shopping trip. You could wear a black jumper, black jeans, black boots. Simple, pop this over the top. Effortlessly classy and chic. You can wear a t-shirt, nice chunky necklace like this one I've got on. Um, some jeans and then some boots. Really, really easy. Just so, so, so versatile. You can pop it on over like flowy like flowy dresses just honestly i what i love the most with a blazer really is either trainers or boots i do think it just looks really classy really chic and just really effortless um, but yeah this is a really lovely one and i'm quite surprised because when i was looking at it like just looking at it i wasn't a humongous fan but when i put it on i was like oh actually it's a bit of me and the size was lovely the size 12 fit really really nice Okay, so the only thing I actually haven't got to share with you today is a nice um, wintery dress, like autumn winter dress. So I do think um, dresses are a great way to sort of not be in jeans all the time at this time of year. Um, I will actually put on a little picture here of a cutaway of the one from the mango haul because this is probably one of my favourite autumn winter dresses I've seen. This one, I think it was £69.99, so it's a little bit more expensive, but you can get lots like this, especially H&M does great ones, and I think... I think they'd sold out of the size that I wanted to get, which is why I haven't actually got one to share with you today. But these kind of dresses are so versatile. Again, they can be worn with trainers, they can wear with boots, you can wear them with knee-high boots, chunky boots, um, flat boots, high boots, even like daps if that's your thing. Um, what are they called? Loafers. Really, really easy to style. Um, and then again, you could just pop a coat on, a blazer on, or like I mentioned, you could chuck a jump, chunky jumper over it, tuck it up, and it just looks like a little skirt and a jumper combo. So honestly, I do think like these kind of dresses are really, really great for this time of year as well. Um, but the next thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is a floaty skirt. So either midi or maxi, I think is great. Obviously, if you're someone who feels comfortable in short skirts as well, a skirt is great but for me i like these midi skirts at this time of year maybe i'm going to keep like the maxis for a little bit later in the year but i do think a midi skirt is just a great addition to the wardrobe and i like the autumny colors in this one i think it's lovely it's got a little bit of pink in so it brings a little bit of color into the wardrobe but then again it's got those neutral tones and the blacks which means you can mix it with the neutrals and the blacks so it's just the best of all worlds um so what i've paired it with in the cutaway i think is the soft jumper that I shared with you and also the black jumper that I shared with you so it's just showing you two different ways to wear it um, really casually and also you could dress it up as well so you could dress it up with like a nice body a nice blazer and a nice little pair of heels you could also then just wear it in the day with a nice pair of trainers and a chunky jumper or a pair of high high knee boots or just ankle boots and a little jumper like just honestly they're so easy and so versatile um, and you'll just get a lot of wear out of them also if it's like quite a hot day you could wear them with like a little t-shirt just a little chunky necklace again and some trainers and it just looks really casual but it's still really chic this one was a size medium the fit was really nice it's got a nice elasticated waistband and um, which i really like and i did think the frill wasn't going to be too flattering on it but actually it looked really nice on and i actually really like that skirt it surprised me like when i got it out it wasn't 100 percent, but yeah when i popped it on i loved it so next for your autumn winter capsule wardrobe you will need a coat obviously because this time of year you need a coat i'm actually going to do a whole separate video on coats because coats are something that i think are actually quite hard to find like exactly what you're looking for because coats at the end of the day they have to be a bit practical 
practical. Like, I am a practical kind of girl. I'm sorry, like, fashion is important, but so is practicality. And if I'm not reaching for something, it's probably not very practical. So this time of year, like, something like a teddy bear coat is great, but if it's pouring down with the rain outside, it's not gonna be ideal. Um, unless you get an umbrella, which has changed my life. I got, like, one of those big dome ones this year. Literally life changer. 3 99 in-home bargains. Go and get yourself one. It's clear with, like, a metallic, rim around it and it's just it's a it's a game changer anyway um so on to coats i have picked here two coats i've gone for a neutral color and i've gone for a black color and i just think they're the easiest way to get the most out of your wardrobe so if you're trying to keep less in your wardrobe but get more out of it two things like that so like maybe a camel colored one or a cream one would look lovely and then one darker shade for me that's black because it's just easier goes with more um but if you're more of a navy kind of girl something navy or dark brown would also be really nice and there's loads of lovely like khakis and browns this autumn coming out in fashion so yeah definitely think about those colors um so this one is a size medium so it's a long line black coat i've been after one of these for ages this is a really nice one it's smart but it's still casual because the fit is more loose fit it looks a lot more casual than too smart and um, because sometimes i think black coats can look a little bit like funeral coats or just a bit too much reese is cooking in the kitchen so if you can hear like lots of rustling and shuffling i do apologize um but at least he's cooking me tea so i can't really shout at him <laughs> um yeah so it's got nice pockets in so this is just a lovely addition to the wardrobe um i do think this one was a little bit higher price point but it is a really lovely made coat and again, it's going to be easy to put on top of like knitted dresses, to be put on top of like a jumper and jeans and boots, jumper and jeans and trainers. Super easy, but really versatile. And this one is really a bit different. I like this one. This is a very similar one to one I actually have from Freemark from a year or two ago. Um, and this is really lovely. It's so soft. It's really lovely made. Like, I can't even tell you that it looks so expensive. And then what I love about this is it's got, like, cream and white in it. So it's, like, two-tone. Uh, which I just think, it makes it look so classy. I just love this soft cream colour. This is going to look great over this with a little pair of boots. So easy, so gorgeous. But also just lovely chucked on top of, like, jumper and jeans and trainers again. Really just versatile. Really easy to wear. Um, nice chunky coat and then the next thing i think that you will need for a capsule wardrobe is a black bag and again a tan or neutral toned bag unless it's like i said a specific color you wear and you love i always think keep the neutral just makes it so much easier to sort of blend and get more out of your wardrobe so for me a little bag like this is going to be perfect it's small it's chic it's really really cute this is a adaptable you can take this off. <laughs> Is that the right word? I can't think. I can't think. Anyway, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you hit that subscribe for all those good vibes. Make sure you join our good vibe tribe. Also hit that thumbs up and make sure you leave me a comment of what you're loving or what you want to see more of down below. Um, yeah, so this little cute bag, I just think little bags are really chic. When they've got a little handbag like this, little handle, really, really cute. I love a bit of gold hardware personally because it's always what I go for with my jewellery. So obviously if you're more of a silver kind of girl, then definitely think about finding one with either all black or some silver hardware. And um, what I like about this is you can take this chain off, but or you could wear the chain, obviously you can wear it over the shoulder. Or you can wear it cross body, which I do really like and I think looks really, really chic and just like effortlessly easy. Um, I think this is going to be great. This is going to be very versatile because you can obviously wear it over like that in the evening, uh, in the day. But then obviously you can take the handle off and you've got an evening bag as well. So extremely versatile and very handy. And I think this is really reasonably priced as well. And then the second bag I think you need is like a day bag. Although, yes, like I said, you can use that one as a day bag. I also think it's nice to have more like a shopper style bag. These are just really handy. They're a great size. You can fit loads in them. And this one I think is about £30 max. So it's really, really reasonable. Um, and it looks really expensive, I think. I love the way again, it's got a little bit of gold on. Just makes it a little bit more chic for me. Um, it's got a little clasp to do up here. And it's just a really simple tote shopper bag. Um, I've always loved this style of bag. I think it's so classic. And I think it never, ever goes out of style. 
Um, it's just literally so plain and simple. And I think brown is just a really cute addition to the wardrobe. Brown goes with, or tan, goes with like obviously like all the cream colors, but also goes with all your blacks and your darks as well. So it's like literally gonna go with everything that you could possibly want to wear. I can't imagine this not going with anything. And yeah, I just think it's super essential, especially if we are trying to keep a capsule wardrobe um, a bit smaller with more things that you can wear, more outfits, less things. The next thing I think is quite important for a capsule wardrobe would be to have like a, a few fine knits, like a few little like thinner knits that you can wear under things for layering. This is a really gorgeous one. I love the neckline on this. I think it was so flattering on. It was quite a long top and I didn't expect it to be so long, but I have seen some bodies like this, which I think would be lovely. Um, the size medium fit really nice. And I think this is just a lovely sort of simple style that's really classic and timeless. Isn't gonna go in or out of style. It's just lovely. The square neckline is something I've always loved. And this does come in quite a few colors. So for me, getting like three maybe, like three thin knits, is a really good way to have sort of something for everything you need in your wardrobe so like maybe a gray one if you're more into gray for me i probably more like you to get like a camel or a beige one um a white and then a black very very simple very very easy and gonna be very versatile and goes with everything could wear it with a skirt and then you could wear it with jeans um so this would look great obviously with like mom jeans black jeans skinny jeans skirts just the list is endless. You could wear it with a nice high-waisted skirt and some over-the-knee boots. It really is an endless list and it is just a key essential piece. Uh, another thing that I don't have in this video that I do think is an essential for building a capsule wardrobe, for me, I found is like bodies. So just really simple plain bodies. I'll insert a picture here um, of a body that I have from, I think it's from Misguided. And they're very similar to the Zara bodies, but personally I just find the fit a lot better from the Misguided ones. Um, they have a tall range, they have a petite range, and they also have a regular range, which I think is great because Zara doesn't give you that option. And I think they're actually cheaper than the Zara ones, but they're exactly the same. Um, and for me, the body length just fit better and the comfort around like, you know whether you do the poppers up, sometimes it, I just find it can be a bit uncomfortable. I find the misguided one is just great. So I'll leave that link down below for you guys as well. And I think having one of those in like a black and a white or a black and a nude is just a really easy way to have it like super chic um, and looks great. Like underneath obviously like a knitted jumper and then obviously like a skirt or your jeans or whatever. And if you get a bit hot, cause the weather is like up and down all the time, isn't it? And if you're like me, I'm like jump on, jump it off, jump on, jump it off all the time. Um, then yeah, they're just a great like piece to have underneath so you still feel nice if you need to take your jumper off. Um, because I used to wear like the pound or two pound pre-mark like strappy tops and then you could like see your bra straps and they just weren't ideal, they just weren't great. So yeah, for me, they've been a good investment this year. Um, and then the last thing I'm gonna talk to you guys about is shoes. So shoes, obviously, your style is up to you, but I'm guessing you guys have probably got like a pair of black boots. For me this year, um, biker boots have been an essential, which I never thought I would say. I've worn them to death. They look great paired with a leather jacket and jeans or dresses. Just it's such an easy staple. Any any dress you've got, any jeans and top you've got, they just look great with. Um, then the next thing I would say is like a classic pair of black boots. Um, so this is the most gorgeous pair of like classic black boots I've seen this year. I've got a lovely pair as well from River Island, but I do have to say these are a little bit probably more my style than them. I think these are just gorgeous, dreamy, and just so easy again to style. So for me, you could wear these with um, the skirt, you could wear these with chunky dresses, you could wear them with the roll neck jumpers and jeans. Just so, so essential. I just remembered something else I need to talk to you about actually. These aren't the last thing. Um, so yeah, obviously like just a classic pair of black boots. This heel for me is quite a nice height. It's probably the highest I would go. But um, yeah, I do really like these. I got these in a size eight and the fit was really nice. They're just a lovely, simple, plain, classic boot. And they're really just like a great price as well. I think they're just under 40 pound. So I think that's a really good price for a leather boot personally. The next thing I think you will need building your capsule wardrobe is a pair of chunky trainers. So, or just like plain white trainers. I find they go with so much, like literally just making any outfit look a little bit more casual, a little bit more chic. So these ones I was kindly gifted. They're from Steve Madden, but I will leave them linked down below. They aren't H&M. H&M, however, do do some great trainers. I have shared quite a few in my previous hauls, um, but 
yeah H&M misguided great places for reasonable price trainers but if you're gonna go a little bit more pricey then I can really recommend these they are an absolute dream and I really love them and I will leave them linked down below and what I love about these is they've got all the colors in again so they've got the neutral tones they've got the black they've got um the white and they've got a bit of gray as well so they're literally all of the colors so they're literally I could wear these with every single item I have shared with you today which like how much more versatile could you get so it's not like you'll need five pairs of trainers, you're gonna need one pair of trainers combining all those colors. Um, something that I think isn't maybe an essential, but for me, I love, and I would class it as an essential, but not maybe for everyone, is a pair of high knee boots. So not over the knee, high knee. Now I'm not gonna lie, these probably aren't my favorite ones. The ones I shared in my last haul, however, are my favorite ones. The ones from my last H&M haul, oh my God, they were such a dream. They're like a croc burnt ready orange color they sound horrendous they were so dreamy i can't even tell you but they just come just under the knee and i just think they make any outfit just they just elevate it basically um but yeah these ones i had i bought these ones because i was trying to recreate a look um which i didn't quite do sometimes you try and sometimes it just doesn't work but i bought these ones to try recreating that look and it just wasn't wasn't the one um but i think these in black would be great if you weren't looking for a color just these in black would be really really nice and really really versatile the heel height is great on these um and obviously i love the pointy toe because i think it just makes that chic effortless look a little bit more easy to wear they are quite a wide fit and I know like you guys were asking about how the width of the calf was on the other ones and this are quite quite wide around the calf so that's something you're just like normally concerned about or thinking about when you're buying um, higher leg boots um, then yeah just just keep that in mind they're a little bit chunkier but it's quite nice because it means you can put like jeans on um, and there's plenty of room for the jeans also obviously you're going to wear tights these look great um, with obviously like chunky knit dresses, normal dresses, um, some nice floaty ones, maybe even the skirts, um, shorter skirts, and also you can obviously wear jeans into them. Okay, and then for me, I don't think it's a complete essential, but for me it is because I love adding neutral colours into my wardrobe and I don't like to be all black all the time. But a second pair of boots, I would definitely go a lighter colour. So for me, these gorgeous like neutral nudie tones, really, really gorgeous. I like the way these are like, pointy but then squared off um i have actually shared these in a previous haul and i love them to pieces the heel height is really nice on them and they're just a little bit different they're a little bit funky um these would look great with jeans and with jumper dresses and knitted dresses and casual dresses little blazer dressing it up so so easy to wear but yeah for me i think a lighter pair of boots is an essential for my wardrobe because i like to wear lighter colors and sometimes i like to have like an all neutral look or an all white look um, I'm not just all about the black or all about the dark colours. If you're all about the dark colours, then just, you know, just maybe just stick to a black pair. Um, but these are really gorgeous. And again, I think they're really reasonable. I think they're under £40. And then the last topic that I forgot to mention was jeans. So mom jeans, I think 100% are an essential piece for a capsule wardrobe. Um, maybe a nice denim pair. My favourite denim pair I've ever had were from New Look. I'll insert a picture here because I don't actually have them on me to talk about. But these fit absolutely, are so versatile, so comfy. They're like, I normally don't wear jeans because I find them really uncomfortable. However, I've lived in these since I got them. I absolutely love them. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend those. And also Zara do really great mom jeans. Um, I find the ones from H&M a little bit snug, but I did order a black pair just to talk to you guys about. Um, and I actually found these really comfy, surprisingly. I ordered these in black because I don't have a black pair of mom jeans. Um, and they're really like comfy, loose, like nice, soft material. They're almost like a bit stretchy. They're ankle waist, they're, uh, sorry, ankle length and high waisted. I always go up a size in mom jeans. It's just always what I've done because I found them like a lot smaller fitting than a normal jean. Um, and they're just like turned up at the bottom. So I, obviously I have a black pair here to share with you and I'll show you how I've styled them. But for me, I think a black pair of skinny jeans and then a pair of like denim mom jeans, if you're gonna try and really keep it quite small, is essential. So I did pick up a pair of plain black skinny jeans. I don't know where they are. They're here. Um, they were really nice. I got them in a size 12. Um, and yeah, so these kind of things are just like key essential pieces for the wardrobe. Obviously, skinny jeans and mom jeans are so easy to style. Um, I will actually film 
extra videos on styling mom jeans and skinny jeans so make sure you are subscribed for those um, because I do think they're so versatile and so easy to wear and actually if you don't follow me over on Instagram I have got seven ways I think it is to style mom jeans in a little reel over there so I'll leave that link down below um, but that is everything from today's video I really hope that you guys enjoyed um, building a capsule wardrobe is really fun and yeah, like inserting a few new pieces into your wardrobe, but also finding pieces that you had that maybe you didn't realize were essential for the wardrobe. Um, and finding more ways to wear them is always really beneficial, I think, and really fun. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Let me know if you found it useful. Leave me a comment down below and just say hey. If you're a silent um, subscriber, then I would love to hear from you. Uh, if you've never said hi or anything like that, please just say hello down below. And like I mentioned, come and follow me over on Instagram all the links will be down below this video. If there's anything you cannot find, please just leave me a comment and just ask um, and I will do my best to provide you with what you need, the links, etc. And yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Have the loveliest morning, afternoon or evening whenever you're watching this and I will see you in the next video. Next week's video is actually a really fun one. Um, I've actually got my boyfriend to order a haul for me and he put some outfits together so God knows what we're going to get. But it should be a really fun video and um, yeah, make sure you are subscribed for more styling videos over here with Love Katie. So I shall see you soon. Bye! Bye.